So let's get into a comfortable, probably seated position for most of us. If you want to lie down or recline or something, that's just fine. Be comfortable. You might have your eyes closed. You might prefer to have your eyes open with the gaze lowered. Either is just fine. Let's start tuning into body experience. This is a great way of kind of, ah, starting to slow down. So we can just feel our seat, feel the weight of the body on the seat. Feel the contact with the lower legs and feet and the cushion or the mat or the chair, whatever is below them. Hmm. Feel the hands, whatever they're experiencing right now. And just let, let, the, let the whole system of the body start to settle. It's been a little bit of a commotion just these first few minutes as we've been kind of establishing the, the quiet of our shared Zoom meditation hall. You know, a little bit of commotion and, you know, probably many of you aren't familiar with me Who's this guy? Why isn't it Rick? You know, whatever you're feeling, it's fine. But here we are. The fact is here, now. We're coming into stillness. We're coming into quiet. What is it like to be still? Many uh, experienced practitioners talk about <clears throat> coming, let's say, home from work and having their evening sit. And it's when the, 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 the various ways they've been called through the day, the calls of the day, the activities of the day, sort of slough off them just drain out of the body. And talk about it as deeply refreshing. The evening sit. Releasing. Whatever the day has been. Letting it go. coming into the sort of ever giving freshness of now, here and now. Let's uh, float our attention on the rise and fall of the breath. Just becoming aware of how usually the, the lower half of the torso usually swells with the in-breath and shrinks with the out-breath. Like a sponge filling, expanding, and emptying, contracting a little bit.
If it's not so easy for you to access the movement of the breath there in the belly area, you might guide your attention to the nostrils. And watch the breath as it passes back and forth over the top lip. That's a very fine practice too. And, you know, imagine something like you're in a little boat at anchor in a bay. And you're just feeling this easy rising and falling of the evening waters. There's a kind of hush that has fallen over the world. A sense of, you know, the day is now fulfilled. Most of the creatures are kind of turning toward evening and night. On that boat, on that bay, you know, the land is quieter. Sea is quieter, a kind of evening lull. And we too are participating in that. And for those of you in in Australia, you know, so it's a fresh morning for you guys. That's fine. But many of us are in the North, of, North America, South America, the American time zones. In this, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, intermediate time between day and night. An in-between time. Many traditions think of it as a special time. Yeah, time of rest and restoration. We're just feeling the, the swells of the breath. How they lift the little bark that we're, the bark of our meditation and then let it fall again. Recognizing that actually this very breath within our bodies connects us to a much larger rhythm, rhythm of life, of coming and going, it's a pulse that beats through all living things and even through inanimate things like the great ocean. You might just experiment whether out breaths might want to be just a little longer. The out breath, of course, is a release. It's a letting go. Allow it to travel the full length that it wants to travel. Just watch it. Same way, every swell will rise and fall as it needs to do. So we let these breaths 
do what they need to do. Let's take note whether even these few minutes of practice already have somehow changed things. Whether there's a little more uh, balance, centeredness, ease, perhaps. Can you find a subtle, easeful, restful sense of well-being in the body? It might just start to show itself as we settle, as we release more. Releasing whatever um, strands of the day are unbinding themselves. And now if you'd like to, uh, I'm going to offer a very simple koan that Zen meditators have been using for well over a thousand years. And I want you to feel 100% free to either try this or not, if it doesn't appeal to you or if for whatever reason. It's simply adding a little question in our minds to the out-breath. So as we breathe out, we sort of utter in the mind three little words. What is this? What is this? Now, one sort of pointer is don't think about the question. Just ask it with a kind of trust that there's really no need to be looking for an answer. Just the question, what is this? Sometimes it can be a very light little addition to the breath, almost like watching a feather sort of float down a wave as it recedes. What is this? Let the question arise from and return to a kind of effortlessness, a great ease. It's sort of like it 
comes from a mystery and goes back into a mystery. What, what is this? And you know, it's not here to encourage our minds into any kind of cogitating. It's to help us come a little closer to that mystery. To gently draw us in its own way, in its own time, towards mystery. We don't really need to do a thing. It's an effortless practice. And you might see what it's like to do it on most out-breaths, or you might see what it's like to just do it on one out-breath, and then kind of wait and see, sense what it's like to have launched that little question into we don't know what. I'm going to go quiet for a few minutes. and let you enjoy this in your own way. Enjoy, explore, be curious. Let it take you where it takes you.
just a reminder that if you realize that you've been thinking, that's no problem at all. Just name it, label it, thinking. Be happy that you've come back. That's terrific. Come back to your sitting here and now. And if you wish, resume the gentle question. What is this? In an invitation to the mystery. In the last 
last couple of minutes, uh, maybe see what it's like to bring a smile into your face. Let's see if that adds a different flavor to your sit. If you give it a little time, it might spread in a sense throughout the head and maybe down through the body. Just see. Okay, so we're going to bring this sit to a close, but that doesn't mean that you can't carry on sitting if that's what feels right. So maybe open the eyes or raise the eyes, stretch, move, whatever you need to do, or keep, keep going if you're sort of in a place where that feels right. 